Greetings, YouTube, on an unexpectedly busy, incredibly busy Wednesday. Uh, this is an image from one of the many uh, lucky crystals I opened from the What If Nexus that I posted to my channel a couple of hours ago. This is a max sig ability crystal result, which has gained me uh, several six-star shards today. Just so happy with my Nexus luck. But of course, we don't just have the What If bundles. We don't just have... Oh, another Alliance Wars compensation. <laughs> Um, which, speaking of which, because Alliance War, unlike Alliance Quest, is something that summoners actually use quite a few of their team revives and health potions. If you find yourself, though, as somebody who, the minute you claim these, you're going into overflow, just wait to claim it. Every time you get compensation or most anything else in your in-game inbox... You can see that the claimable items expire in 29 days and 23 hours, a.k.a. a full month, 30 days, or at least some months. I guess some months have 31 days. Uh, so don't be in a rush. When I get kind of annoyed at people who complain that these items just expire quickly because you should know your inventory. Don't claim them. Yes, it might be uh, hard to remember sometimes, but if you don't claim them, they don't expire. So... Just a, a pro tip. I feel like that's obvious, and yet I've had to tell it to so many people who message me complaining about compensation. Also remember, compensation can only be complained about if it exists. <laughs> uh, okay, but that is not the main reason why this video exists. The main reason why this video exists is because we have a new version of the piggy bank, and last time I gave the piggy bank, like, I think I gave it a D minus grade. It was not a good value. But that doesn't mean that this version is going to be bad. Let's talk about it. The new Spider-Man 29.9's piggy bank has arrived in the contest. This special offer rewards you for playing the Battle Realm, how it works. To break your piggy bank open, you'll need to fill it up. For every fight you win in the quest and arenas, 100 times creeps and crawlies uh, crystal shards are added to the piggy bank, up to 4,000. As you hit milestones, you'll unlock the ability to purchase your shards and bonus items. If you are impatient or need the help in a hurry, you can bust the bank early. But it's all the same price to crack the piggy bank, regardless of milestones. So you'd really be dumb to not wait until it's filled up. So make sure you're getting the best deal. Wait for the final milestone to get a crystal featuring Spider-Man 2099. Once you fill the piggy bank to 4,000 shards, you will only have two hours to crack it open. After that, your progress will reset, so don't miss out. You can fill and purchase this piggy bank up to five times. So, what, 25 bucks? So make sure you get the most out of your limited cracks at the bank. Depending on your story progression, you'll be presented with different resources. So be sure to push on in the axe to get the best deal. So, if you're wondering what Thronebreaker gets, you can see that uh, my piggy bank is full. And so... Uh, the Thronebreaker, it says Creeps and Crawlies Crystal Shards 10,800 in the top left. Limit 5. For $5, you also get a Grandmaster Crystal, a regular Cavalier Crystal, which wouldn't it be cool to pull a uh, six-star Nexus from that thing? <laughs> Almost impossible, but you're saying there's a chance. And then what I think they care most about, uh, you getting the six-star Spider-Man 2099 Crystal and the America Chavez is the sub-featured champion in this, as they also indicate. And then the drop rates of these, as you can see, um, are the usual suspects. Uh, if you combine the six-star Nexus crystal shards, or drop rates with the six-star, you'll get to 4.5%. If you combine the five-star with the five-star Nexus, you'll get to 25%. Um, Obviously, you could still spend five bucks to get nothing but three stars, but this is a way better value for your five dollars than the previous version. So, while I still think the what if Nexus bundles for those of you who can uh, qualify progression wise to purchase them are the definition of an A plus value for five dollars for two or ten dollars for four. 
Uh, this is also a solid value. It's not an A plus in my book, but it's like at least a B plus, A minus with the ceiling of an A plus. But uh, there's just such a difference between buying a Nexus crystal, which gives you three options, and a, a deal that only gives you one. I do think I am going to wait and purchase this tonight. Maybe it'll be a sponsored crystal opening. You never know on my live stream. So those of you watching this, uh, I'll hopefully see you tonight at nine o'clock and we'll purchase a piggy bank and see if it's worth the five bucks. So I'll uh, put my uh, wallet where my mouth is. But in the meantime, I'm going to give it a B plus A minus and say that it's a lot better than it was before. And hopefully we'll have some people get some good luck. But regardless, the what if Nexus crystals are back. So I'm excited to see what people get. As always, if I get enough submissions of those, I'll make a video uh, compilation recapping everything tomorrow. Until then, have a good one. Thanks for watching.